Hey guys, it's me Lily, and welcome to another vlog, art vlog, studio vlog, whatever you want to call it. It's been a long while, I haven't vlogged since like last year. Yeah, so where have I been? I've been in school, so that's what I've been doing, and I recently just graduated, so now that I graduated, I kind of want to start vlogging some more, and just making more YouTube videos in general. So for anybody who's new to my channel, I am Lily, or Liliana, whichever you want to call me, and I'm an artist. Since I just graduated, I'm still learning how to be an artist, like on my own. Like I went to kind of an art school, but now that I'm really on my own, I just, I'm still learning on how to market myself and grow my audience. So yeah, if you like art vlogs and just like art videos and you just want to follow along on the journey with me then stick around and maybe you'll enjoy some of these videos. So recently I've come up with the goal of wanting to vlog I guess my weeks and at least uploading a vlog once or twice a month. That is my goal and I do want to plan out my weeks and try to make art vlogs because I just want to do as much art. It's also good for me because I get to practice and do art. So the next project that I'm going to be working on today is a music box. So I really, I'm really into Sailor Moon. Like I love Sailor Moon and it inspires me, it inspires my work. That's why I say my themes are dragons, magical girls, and cats, anything cutesy. Yeah. But anyway, I was thinking to myself that you know those music boxes with the dancing ballerina, the spinning ballerina, or you just open it or you wind it up and it plays a song and the ballerina spins? I was thinking about that and I was thinking, hey, I do not have a Sailor Moon one of those. And I would really love a Sailor if that existed. So first I searched for a Sailor Moon music box, but I, I couldn't find one. So I was like, maybe I can make one. So that's where I'm at, and that's what I really want to do next. And if it turns out really well, I was thinking of maybe having that as a um, product on my Etsy shop. Um, I don't know how it's going to go, because I've never made a music box before. But I did find on Amazon the musical movement that plays um, Moonlight Densetsu. So I, I hope I said that right, but I really hope that I can purchase it and make a music box. Today, I'm going to the store uh, to see if they have uh, wooden boxes that I can transform into the music box. So I just got back from the store and I got a little box. The, the store I went to didn't have any wooden boxes, but since it's just the prototype, I just got, decided to get this little, I think it's cardboard, I'm not too sure. It's, it's sturdy and it's hard, but I don't know what it's made out of. It's like a paper type material. I'm going to use this as the prototype for the music box and I wanted, I couldn't decide between square, they didn't have a square box, they just had a round one, but I don't know if I want the final product to be square or round. Um, I think I should make a round, I think it would look cuter being round, but I am I still need to see how it looks like first, so right now I'm going to do some sketches and just come up with different ideas of how I want it to look like before I start sculpting around this box and decorating it. Um, I still need to buy the musical movement and attach it to the box, so that is next on my list. But for right now, I think I'm just going to be decorating and creating a little Usagi figurine that goes, that's going to go inside.
next day and I did run into a problem. The clay that I had and was going to use to decorate the box dried up and I'm left with this other clay but it's not the quality I want so I'm going to have to order that as well. Um, so in the meantime while I wait for the clay and the musical movement to arrive I will be crocheting and doing some other projects I suppose. So since I can't work on the music box right now, I was thinking of revisiting some old projects of mine, like making tote bag designs, and also I found these that I worked on. Hold on, let me show you. I found these, which are little trinket boxes that I made a long time ago. It's supposed to be a ladybug. It's not painted yet, but it's going to be a ladybug. And I was thinking of working on these, painting them, and seeing how I like them. I really like these. A lot they're cute and they're small they have leaves patterns and stuff on them and I haven't painted them yet and it's been like I made these like over a year ago with the clay that I do not want to use for the music box I did end up making another trinket box kind of like that one um, it's not I don't like the quality of it it's not as good as my ladybug trinket box but I did make, I tried making a Magical Girl Sailor Moon inspired trinket box. It has a moon, crescent moon, and some stars on it. Um, it's a little wonky, uh, but this is just for me. And it did break, and I had to glue it. I don't know if you can see it. It did break, but I didn't want to scrap it or throw it away, so I just glued it back together. I think I'm still going to paint it. And also, here's a lid design. It's a bow and the stars and the moons. But that's what I worked on. I'm going to wait for the actual clay, the clay that I want to use, uh, to come in. Meanwhile, I'm just going to work on some sketches, crocheting, just other art projects. those sketches they're just quick simple sketches I also made a poll on my Instagram 
I wasn't too sure which lid design to make. So I went through three variations, um, which I can pull up on the screen or show you on my iPad. But I went through three variations. One was a crescent moon, just a simple sailor moon, crescent moon. And one was a kind of inspired by sailor moon's brooch. It was a heart with the crescent moon in it with wings. And then the third design would be the Sailor Scout bow. So Sailor Moon's bow on her chest that she wears with her brooch in the middle. So, so far the poll, I believe the Crescent Moon is winning right now. And I think I'm gonna go with the Crescent Moon just because of how simple it is. But again, this is just for the prototype. If it ends up being trash and I don't like it, then I will move on to the second best idea. I've also drew the body for, or the, the body of the box, which I will also show. The first variation, I only made two variations of that. The first variation is a, it's, it's gonna be the Sailor Scout bows wrapped around the box, the cylinder shape of the box. And the second variation is a crescent moon with stars around it. So it's very simple, but um, those are the variations I've came up with. And I am I still need the clay, so it's probably going to be saved for another video. I don't think it's going to come in on time by the time I want to release this video. There'll be a part two to the Sailor Moon music box idea. But that's what I've been doing so far. I've come up with variations. And I guess just let me know which one's your favorite, because I'm still a little confused which lid to do. I'm very indecisive and I just love all of them, but I only have one prototype box right now, so I can't do all of them. Uh, I would if I could, but maybe I should have thought about that. Maybe I should have... And the reason why I got the box first was because I wanted to know the size and shape, and then based off of the box, create ideas to form around the box, to fit around the box. But now I'm thinking I should have maybe created the variations, the ideas, and then bought the box based off of those ideas. I mean, it could work either way, but this is the path I chose. So we'll see what happens. Um, other news, I started working on some art prints and other stuff that I would want on my Etsy shop. And um, I think they're cute. I, again, I'm still kind of starting out in the art community. So I do want to hear your opinion what you think of my art prints and I, I actually have samples of them right here the first one is this cute cat it's a lime cat so I, I was thinking of doing revisiting my citrus cat idea and creating cats based off of citrus fruits and this is the first one it's a lime cat lights a little bright but I think it's cute and I think it's perfect for an art print I've also been working on some dragon drawings, and if you don't know me and you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, it's at lilinfinitylily, lil underscore infinity underscore lily, and you're going to quickly realize that I, I'm in love with dragons, and I don't know if you can, you see these posters behind me, they're how to train your dragon, sparked it all, and um, yeah, I'm all about dragons, so if you like dragons, follow me on Instagram, at lil underscore infinity underscore lily. So, I've also opened up a Patreon, and I was also thinking of creating more dragons like these for some art prints for Patreon. So, if you are interested in that, follow me on Patreon. The link should be in my description. Okay, well, that's it for this vlog. It's kind of all over the place, but I'm still kind of getting the hang of it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel and you like the content, then consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!